Now proceeding further, question number 11. This is from modern physics. The topic of a term is there. A little bit of modification, but almost a very straightforward one. In the given figure, the energy levels of hydrogen atom have been shown. So let me show it to you completely. And along with some transition marked as A, B, C, D, E. Now we got to comment on the transition A, B, and C respectively. Now if you see what is A, let's just try to see. All right, before let's just have a scan of the option so that we can customize our discussion based on the option, all right? So what does the option say? The option says like A, B, C, like A would be ionization potential of hydrogen, B would be second member of Balmer, third member of Pastion, in that way we need to go. All right, so now let's just see, what is A? A can be called as the ionization you know, energy corresponding to hydrogen, that's perfectly fine. Or it can also be called as the transition corresponding to Lyman, right? And Lyman starts from one, you know, and it's between one to zero. So this will be the limit member of Lyman, right? So I can even go with off. What about B? B is the bomber. Now this is first member, second member, third member. So B is the third bomber. Because you know that for bomber, anything begins from two. So two to three is the first member. So two to four is the second. So that's a third. What about C? C is the bastion and this is the second bastion. So you just keep uh, this thing in mind. Limit of Lyman, third of bomber, second of Pastion. Let's see, let's see. Uh, even I may forget. So limit of Lyman, third of Warmer, second of Pastion. Let's see. Uh, the ionization potential of hydrogen, that's perfectly fine because the first one corresponds to E. So either you call limit of Lyman or ionization, that's fine. Second member of Balmer. No, this is mismatching because the B corresponds to the third member of Balmer. So that's gone. Let's see option number two. How about this? Series limit of Lyman, third of Balmer, and second of Pastion. Oh, lucky we. In the second option itself, we found the correct match. All right? Lucky we. So there's no point uh, proceeding further because we are talking about single option, correct one. So that was question number 11. Let's go to question number 12. Question number 12, gravitation, but a very, very straightforward one. There are two satellites and the time periods, they are in the ratio, you could see one is to eight, the time period of one is one hour, the time period of two, that's equals to eight hour. And we got to find the ratio of the angular velocity now, you know, omega is 2 pi by time period. So, omega would be inversely proportional to time period. So, option number 4, that would be the correct one. Let's go for the next question number 13. Question number 13 is about the moment of inertia. Moment of inertia, four bodies having same mass and radius. Uh, the first one is thin ring about its diameter. Okay. So I1 is thin ring, let me make a ring here, and about the diameter. That's the first one. What about I2? I2, a circular disk about an axis perpendicular to the disk. That is fine. So this is the disk, and the axis here is this. What about I3? Cool, solid cylinder. Right, so this is the axis, and what about I4? Solid sphere. Okay, I'll just give it a three dimensional view, and about this. So I1, I2, I3, I4, and if you see clearly, it has been said all have the same mass and radius. Now, there's no direct way how we can just compare and get the qualitative answer because the axis they are very much you know 
different. Like had it been the same axis for the ring and disk, then we could have at least reached the answer by qualitative reasoning, but we don't have any such facility. So the only thing that I have is that I got to see the numerical value. For the ring, that is mr square by 2, isn't it? And that's I1. For this, it's mr square by 2. Okay, for this is mr square by 2. For sphere is 2 by 5 mr square. So that's a straightforward one. 1, 2, 3. They are equal and that is greater than 4. So where's the option? Option number 2. So that was about question number 13. Now it's time we move to question number 14.